10 hours. Okay. Seriously? Thank you, Miss Vivian, for having us in your home. You're welcome. Um, and we're here today with Miss Vivian. She is a backyard gardener, and she is going to be cooking for our greens cook-off tomorrow. And she's volunteered to show us some of her moves in the kitchen. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been waiting on you guys. Um, behind Melvin, I had the crock pot and the onion. And what I did was last night, I put that on an automatic slow cook with turkey tails with a little diced onion and water and salt and pepper. And when I woke up this morning, the turkey tails were done. And so now the turkey tails are over here and the broth is ready for the greens. You want the light on? The broth is ready for the greens. Okay. So that's number one. Get your turkey tails ready. Put them in a pot. <laughs> now, ready and put them in a pot. Last night, I also, because prior <laughs> preparation prevents a piss poor performance, possibly. <laughs> I prepared my greens by taking the, the vine out, the stem off, and it prevents them from being bitter. Mm. Okay, a lot of people keep them in because lots of vitamins are in here, but a lot of people take them out, and I'm one of those people who do it sometimes and don't do it other times. These are purple collards, which they brought me. Um, I didn't know what they were last night, so I waited today to find out what they were. And so I just thought I'd hold off on these two to show you how to take the mine out. But I took the mine out of all of these. I'm not going to cook them together because I've never cooked purple collards before. Purple power. Purple power. But what you do, what I do, I have two stacks here, right? So I roll, I roll my greens like this. I put some cold water in the sink already over here. So I'll get a cutting board and I'll lay them on the cutting board and I'll cut and push in. Cut, push in. Cut on the board, push the greens in. It helps the greens be um, more tender and easier to eat because you're not trying to eat a big leaf. So roll and cut, roll and cut. And put, there's cold water. And there's cold water, just plain cold water. I sanitized my sink before I did this. So now I'll get the other one. I kept these out because they looked a little iffy with the yellow and stuff, right? You want to make sure your greens look good. So I'll roll these, bring them over, put them on the cutting board. See how easy it is? Roll and cut. <laughs> cut and push. Push it in the water. Then we're going to wash them. And I'm going to show you a trick after you wash them. People think it takes a long time to do this, and it really doesn't. These greens are one of the quickest things I know. It takes a while to cook them. But it doesn't take a long time to get them ready to be cooked. So oh, then, do you cook them usually? some people like them a little crunchy. I like them to melt in my mouth. Mm. So I cook my greens about three to four hours. And these are really clean. You can tell, like some, you can tell that these are organic and from our farm. Look at the water. Look how clean it is, free from any pesticides or bugs. That's clean water. When you get your greens at some other local stores with GMOs and stuff, the water's dark. You gotta wash them two or three times. So, wash your greens. These are really, really clean, and I knew they were because I could tell by the way they smelled last night. Mm. Cool. They smell so fresh because they are so fresh. So, who taught you how to cook greens? My mother and my father. Did they have separate recipes? No, not really. My dad was from Oklahoma. Mom was from Florida. And um, my grandfather on my mother's side was a chef. Uh -huh. So I have cooking in my blood. <laughs> you are a woman who cooks. I am a woman who cooks, and I love to cook. So do you have um, special seasonings that you put in this, too? or? Well, first we got to get, I'm going to bring the pot over here because we're filming. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this rivet here, put it right 
here. And since the pot is already hot, this is a little something Mom picked up in uh, North Carolina. If you can't find the tops to your pots, mm -hmm. or, you're, or they don't fit, or they're missing a handle, this is awesome. It fits to any pot. House of Cooks. Almost look like a collard green, too. Yeah. But, so I'm going to bring this over here. And because they were so clean, I don't really have to do much to them. And I'm just going to get some of the water off. I'm going to drop them in here. They are pretty, aren't they? They are so pretty. Look at that beautiful green. They're not going to look like this when the turkey juice gets on them. And they're melting down. I mean, they're just, they're wilting down in the hot water right now. So when we get back over to the stove, you'll see. So have you added to your folks' recipe at all or subtracted or kind of got your own? You know, sometimes out? I cook with turkey because a lot of people are sensitive to pork. Or you can also use a ham hock. But this is turkey. Unless you're vegan, you can eat it tomorrow. And I'll win. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got the winning pot right here. We can't so, promise anything. I know, I know. I know one of the judges, though, so we'll see. We have judges that are related to people, and so we all have to be young. All right. So I'm going to take the pot back over to the stove. That was just the way to do it. And I don't have the fire on high because I didn't know what time everybody was going to get here, but I'll turn up the fire now. Put it on there. Grab a spoon. Come on over, Melvin. So you saw there wasn't a lot of juice, but there was enough juice because these are going to really cook down. And then after they cook down, then you'll taste your juice and you'll see what you need to add. So right now, I had already tasted the juice. It tasted good without anything else in it. There was enough salt. There was enough pepper. There was enough smoked seasoning in it. I'm going to add a beef bouillon cube that cuts any um, tartness, even in tomato sauces and stuff like that. If you're doing spaghettis and chilies, put a bouillon cube in. Okay. It'll take that tomato -y bite out of it. So we're going to let these cook down for a little bit. I'll see how my juice tastes, and that's when I start adding all the other, not too many other things, just like I said, a bouillon cube, maybe a little more salt, maybe a little more pepper. No, don't. They have different types of beyond cubes. What type they have chicken bouillon cube and beef bouillon cube. I use beef. So when I cook beef, I use chicken, and I'm cooking turkey, so I'm using beef. Oh. You do the opposite, which is strange, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It works. And one cube for that size pot. Yeah, this isn't going to make a lot of greens. It'll be enough for the cook-off tomorrow. But if I was cooking for my family, this would not be enough. This would be maybe before service because we eat bowls of greens. We don't eat a fork full or two. I know your family. So, Miss Vivian, we were um, interviewing another person yesterday, and I sort of came to the conclusion that with these greens tasting them, we're going to have to have a little piece of cornbread on the side. What do you think? I think you should have cornbread on the side. Yeah. Definitely have some cornbread okay. to go with greens. Yeah. Some people down south, they put the cornbread in the greens and eat it and smash it with their fingers. They don't even use a fork. Now, yeah. I did learn how to eat greens like that, but mom wouldn't let me eat it like that at her table. So. Now, speaking of cornbread, um, do you make hot water cornbread sometimes? I do make hot water cornbread sometimes. Mama needs to be down here on this, okay? Because she is the cook that taught me how to cook, and it still cooks today at almost 86. She can still outcook me on a lot of stuff. Oh. I know. I'm happy. Yeah. Okay, so see how that's already cooked down? Wow. Mm. Right? Brown. So and my turkey tails are underneath here. But that was all the greens you just saw me put in there. When I came from the sink to the pot, they were up to here. So they will down about another quarter of this size. So that's wilted down just a little bit. And my turkey tail came apart. 
So, yummy, yummy, yummy. it's going to be good. <laughs> yummy. So there we go. We're going to let these, now you bring them to a roaring boil. And then you turn them down and let them simmer and cook. And that's how you cook greens. And you'll taste them tomorrow. Thank you. Um, should we keep going? I don't know how much space it is. Um, <laughs> so do you ever cook vegetarian greens? And how would, would you do that? I have done vegetarian greens because some of my friends are vegetarian mm -hmm. and I fry them fast. Like I'll make them, I'll cut them real, real thin or and with a cabbage, either a, a green cabbage, a savoy cabbage or mm -hmm. a red cabbage. I would probably cook those red collards in it and I'll put like a Thai chili sauce on it with some garlic and some onion and just toss it real quick That's and then let amazing. it simmer for a minute until it gets tender. It's so good. Mm. Wow. So good with some olive oil. Yeah. I did that for a barbecue. Excellent barbecue sauce. Don't start looking at me like that, Mel. <laughs> I, already, <laughs> I already see his mouth turning. Like, really, Vivian? Yeah, so that's a vegetarian sauce. That sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. Or sesame seeds, anything like that. Mm -hmm. Some sesame oil. So have you lived in Minnesota all your life? No, most of my life. I was born and raised here. Then I left when I was 20. Okay. And I came back when I was... 30, you know, my mid 30s, we won't say how 30 ish, mm -hmm. to raise my daughters mm -hmm. in the Midwest. Okay. And that's good. Now I'm taking care of my mom. Yeah. And also a backyard gardener. And I'm a backyard gardener, and I'm a friendly front yarder. Yes. And I work at Sewer Community Co op, the friendship store. Yes, I do. All right. You're a peace gardener. I'm a peace gardener. It, yeah. This smells good already. Yeah. All right. So I can grab the um the bouillon. Raul, will you hand me the bouillon cubes, please? I can drop these in here because bouillons are just um just one of these for the small amount of greens that we have. So we'll drop that in there just for a little extra oomph to take out any bite that there may have in them. Do you ever put garlic in your meat greens? Garlic? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take it from that answer, no. I use fresh garlic for a lot of stuff, but none of my greens. Okay. As a rule, no. For the vegetarian ones, yes. Because yeah. the meat is smoked and it has so much going on in it already. Okay. I don't want to take away from the greens having the collard green taste. So you get smoked turkey tails. Smoked turkey tails, smoked ham hot, smoked meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And can we give people just a small teaser as far as what's on this counter over here? <laughs> well, all right, let me turn these down. Put the top back on them. We'll come back to them before you guys leave, maybe. And um, there. I like that top. All right. That's that. So now, what we have over here that were made this morning are Mama's, not Patty, Mama's sweet potato pies. She was kind enough to make four pies for tomorrow's celebration. And there they are. With say something? <laughs> with um, organic sweet potatoes and butter and sugar and cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and cream. That's I can what, attest. They that's that's what she well you get a fresh one i got a little sample over here for everybody that's here today because i got feed my brother melvin okay. and my sister may yes. and my husband's over there <laughs> yeah so that's that y'all want to be on camera sure those are my sure. husband's Mick and raul sure. they came sure. over to spend some time with me not knowing that they were going to be on have you had Vivian's greens before? Yeah, they're the best. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she makes best. the best greens. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you I got two everybody. votes of confidence. So, <laughs> I don't know if they judges see this video, how they're gonna say. Well, you, you know, the tape, you know, the proof is in the pudding, baby. <laughs> Just have some and tell me what you think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, my sister. Thank you,